Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick. In this episode, we'll be discussing several research items related to node tapping. So, first notice that I've put crystal clusters near my research table. I've done this because they help you generate primal aspect points. It's another way of getting aspect points for your table. If you place shards in a crafting table, six of any one kind in any pattern, you'll get a crystal cluster for that aspect. If you mix the different aspect shards, you'll get a mixed crystal cluster. So that's why those are over here. All right, so let's open the Thaumonomicon and I'll show you some different research we're gonna talk about today. On the basic information tab next to auras and nodes, we have advanced node tapping, master node tapping, and node preserver. So advanced node tapping and master node tapping simply let you charge your wand from a node faster. Twice as fast for advanced and three times as fast for master node tapping, which is very nice when you have to go around charging your wand from several nodes. There are different aspects within each node, so you have to do a lot of nodes to charge your wand and you'll do this quite frequently in the early part of Thomcraft. Now, Node Preserver is different. Remember that if you drain a node completely of all of its aspect, it may not regenerate that aspect and you may destroy the node. So, Node Preserver is a way of making sure you save at least one of that aspect in the node you're draining. However, as noted, the level of control is not possible when using wands crafted from normal wood and iron. That means we can't use this technology with our iron capped wooden wand. You'll have to make a better wand before Node Preserver actually works. We'll cover that in a future episode. Catch you next time.